Hello friends, welcome to the Safety Hunts channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about flash point, fire point and auto ignition temperature. These three concepts are extremely important in fire prevention and fire investigation, especially the flash point which is a lowest temperature at which the risk of fire exists with a given liquid. So let's see what is the definition of flash point. Flash point is the lowest temperature at which the flammable or combustible liquid gives off enough vapor which has a concentration uh, to produce a flame after the introduction of any external ignition source like flame, or spark or any other thing. So what happens is that at flash point the vapor of the liquid has enough concentration which is equal to the lower flammable limit or LEL. At this condition if any ignition source is introduced it will create a momentary flame or fire and at some time it will get self extinguished uh, because the remaining fuel will not have enough vapor production to sustain the fire so that's when the concept of fire point, fire point will be introduced so we can say lower the flash point the material can easily be ignited now let's see what is fire point Fire point is the lowest temperature which is necessary for the continuous combustion of the given liquid after its ignition. The concept of fire point is significant because if we know the fire point only then we can able to analyze the material's ability to support the combustion. In short, we can say that fire point is a temperature which is necessary to keep the liquid hot enough to produce a continuous vapor for the combustion. So, by the definition we itself we can say that fire point will always be greater than the flash point. Now we will see what is auto ignition temperature. Auto ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a fuel will spontaneously ignite uh, without any external ignition source even in the normal atmospheric conditions. So raising the temperature of the fuel to its uh, auto ignition point provides uh, energy to initiate the chemical rea reaction needed for the combustion. Uh, that's all in this video friends. If you have any comments and clarification on what I have explained so far, you can comment me down and I'll be happy to explain you back. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel to get notified every time whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.